butternut squash. What on earth am I gonna do with this? All right, let's break it down. Make it manageable. I'm leaving the sticker on, because I'm cutting it off. All right, here we go. Top, off, garbage. Bottom, off, garbage. Now, where the butternut squash begins to get fatter, that's where I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna get two separate cuts out of it. So, right down there, Put it through, perfect. I'm gonna put that aside for the moment. Peeling my squash. So now I have a nice flat surface to work on. Everything is stable. I'm just gonna insert the knife right there where the peel meets the flesh and cut down. And now I'm gonna turn it and repeat. and you try and work with the shape of the squash. That way you preserve as much of the flesh as possible. Let's just give it a little clean. Looks good. All that is garbage. All right, now we want a nice large dice. So we follow the process as though it were a potato or anything else that was round. I'm gonna make as few cuts as possible. So I'm gonna give myself, again, a flat surface about the size of the dice. Lay it down, nice large chunks. Before you start your motion through, make sure that knife is in there. That way nothing slides around. All right. Now let's cut it into our squares. I'm gonna keep everything together. And of course, if you want presentation to be perfect, you square the ends off. So there we have butternut squash, peeled and large dice Hopefully that takes some of the mystery out of it for you. What do we do with this weird shape thing? All right, we're gonna peel it the same way. Get that knife in there, follow the curve. And you notice each time that I peel some of the skin off, I dig the knife in where the skin meets the flesh. That gives me kind of a guide. Now inside this weird shaped round piece of squash are the seeds. So I'm gonna give you a quick trick on getting them out in one shot. Let's just clean up the edges there. Beautiful, all right. Set her down. We're gonna cut it right down the middle. And here we have seeds. So I've got a nice big spoon, and I'm just gonna dig that in, make a scrape right on the edge, all the way around. Seeds out. Just give it a little clean. There we have de-seeded. All right, now, we're gonna cut it a little bit differently because it's a lot thinner on the inside. So, instead of chunks, we're gonna go slices for this and I would cook them separately. 
because they're going to cook at a different speed. These are really amazing on salads. They look gorgeous. So there we have two ways to cut butternut squash.